Hello, Juliana. So give us an update on the trading across UK equities and currency pairs of the pound to the dollar, euro and the Japanese yen. Well, hello. Good afternoon from London. London has actually got off to a much brighter start than many would have expected today. The FTSE 100 was up 61 points at 7226. Also, the FTSE 250, also very positive, up 69.91. Moving along to currencies, I would say the sterling is still suffering against uh, the US dollar. Sterling has actually uh, fallen in five of the past six days with the pound to dollar exchange rate down 0.04%. One pound will get you $1.29. The pound has also now suffered its sixth daily decline in a row against the euro and looks to be on course for a seventh with the pound to euro exchange rate down 0.06%. One pound will get you €1.15 today. Improving risk sentiment has improved the sterling exchange with the Japanese yen and that's up by 0.31%, a pound will get you just over 142 yen. All right, I was discussing uh, the earnings with our colleague out there at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, uh, talking about um, Vodafone listed on the London Stock Exchange, which has swung to a full year loss and uh, cut its payout to shareholders for the first time. Now, what are the facts behind those numbers? Well, Vodafone has been all across the news. Some reports suggest that the new Vodafone uh, boss, Nick Reed, has cut the mobile operator's dividend for the first time to secure the firepower it needs to build 5G network and uh, complete its acquisition of Liberty Global Assets. The consequences of this basically mean that Vodafone has now swung to a four-year loss and cut its payout to shareholders for the first time. The reduction in the dividend is from €15.07 to just nine euros. So that's a big, big fall. Uh, the company's four-year revenue also fell to 43.7 billion euros, and that's from 46.6 billion. Uh, reporting a loss of 7.6 billion euros compared with a net profit of 2.8 billion last year. Now, the company says this loss can be attributed to a write-down in the value of its Indian and Spanish businesses. But of course, it's very competitive market, and uh, Vodafone seemed to have being to pay heavy just to stay uh, competitive. And um, data just released by the Office of National Statistics shows that Britain's unemployment rate in the first three months of the year has fallen to about 3.8%. That's the lowest since um, late 1974. What does this data say about the UK economy even in the midst of Brexit? Well, it was uh, some surprising news, uh, and it's major news over here in the UK that unemployment, yes, indeed, has dropped to the lowest level in more than 44 years. Um, employers across the country seem to have ramped up hiring amidst all of this Brexit toy and more. Who would have known? Uh, there was an expectation from all observers that companies would freeze their hiring plans until they have greater clarity over the political situation. But clearly, that hasn't been the case. The UK has increased their hiring activity to add nearly a quarter of a million people to the workforce, taking the overall number in work to a record high of 32.7 million. Um, there are some skeptics, I must say. Some analysts caution that these figures are basically backward looking because they relate to the three month period up to January this year, only touching on the start of the worsening crisis. We know that after uh, January, things got a lot worse, but still some good news in the UK today. All right. Thank you, uh, Juliana. Let's keep a tab on those um, developments. We'll talk more tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the day.